In this ongoing video series of troubleshooting auto sampler problems, we're looking at clearing a flow cell. Right now we have a flow cell that has a, uh, some problem in the gain setting of the sample side, and you can see that the baseline has risen and is quite high. So we have a bubble in the flow cell. Occasionally you might have this problem with bubbles or particles or many different things. In order to flush, you're going to come to your surfactant solution. If you're running nitrate, which we're running now, it's going to be bridge. If you were running phosphate, it would be Dowfax. And you're going to pull a surfactant into a syringe. And then you're going to come to the waistline from the flow cell. And you're going to quickly disconnect that. And what you're looking for is to blow what's in the flow cell out of the flow cell into the debubbler, quick push, and then remove the syringe. And when that happens, you should see that the baseline starts to drop because the uh, bubble has been cleared. And then you need to stop and rewind the, you see the baseline dropping there. You need to stop and rewind. And then when you hit play again, you'll see that the serial communication values have gone down to what they should be. Normally for a 540, the reference is going to be at 2 or 4. And the sample, because it's going through the flow cell gain, will be slightly higher at either 4 or 8, which is normal. And then you'll notice that this baseline now is nice and flat and coming right out of zero. So we've cleared the bubble and now we're ready for analysis. Thank you very much.